How to make a bootable USB drive with ghost in it with E2B, easy to boot. In this video, I'm gonna make such a USB drive that boots up. Let me choose to load the ghost. And do some backup and restore to the C drive or system drives. By the way, this video has nothing to do with the ghost based operating systems such as Ghost XP or Ghost Windows 7 or stuff like that. In the rest of the video, we'll be learning to make our E2B bootable USB drive, make it able to load up the ghost. Alright, let's dive right into it. Now, let's have a look at the list of what we need to achieve our goal. First of all, needless to say, we need a computer, we need an ISO file that contains the ghost program which runs in a DOS environment. This file is all over the internet. Just do a search with the exact name and you will get pages of results. Next, you will need a USB drive, which will be set up as an E2B bootable drive. If you're using E2B for the very first time, you do need an E2B installer, but this video does not cover how to set it up from scratch. In other words, the prerequisite for this tutorial is that you already set up the E2B bootable drive that is able to load up the menu. If you want to use the same version of what I'm using, you can find them from this link. Alright, this file, one of the most important files used in the tutorial, is already downloaded on my computer here. All I need to do is drag and drop it into somewhere in the USB drive and change its file extension. The details can be found in this post, title like this. Here I can find the destination path, the file extension. Okay, I'm gonna drag this to somewhere in the USB. Add the root directory. Go to underscore ISO and go to main menu. Here, I'm gonna drag it and drop it right here. Then I'm gonna rename it. I'm just gonna change the file extension as ISO DOS. Case matters, uppercase and lowercase are different. I'm clicking yes to change the file extension. At this point, I've pretty much finished, but before going ahead and test things out, I'm gonna give you a miscellaneous tip. If you cannot change the file extension, you need to change the folder options. In Windows 10, you can click on the View tab and go to Options and go to this View tab and find out this option that reads Hide extension for known file types. Untick that, then click OK. Let me double check the file extension ISO DOS. Alright, the same as the written tutorial. Great, I'm gonna pull away my USB drive and plug it into my old computer. Alright, now I'm gonna boot the ghost program from my USB drive. It might take a while. Alright, the main menu of the USB drive shows up. You can use your up and down keys to choose the payload. I'm gonna boot this up. It might have a different name, you have changed the name in the previous step. No matter how you named it, boot up the ghost program. Now I'll hit the enter button when I see this message. Hit the enter button again as I see this message. Alright, my ghost seems working well. Seems I can do backup and restore.
Seems I can quit the ghost. Back to the DOS screen. I'm going to show the content of the current directory. I can see the ghost program. So I can type ghost and hit the enter button to open up the ghost program. That's it. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.